Hello, this is Michelle Fifus of Pattern Observer and the Textile Design Lab. And as many of you know, our studio is preparing to take a trip to Portland, Oregon. We'll be meeting with clients who we've worked with in the past and clients who we are really excited to work with. We'll be showing them our spring and fall pattern collections. And in this tutorial, I wanna show you how I'm preparing for my presentations and the stories that I'll be telling while presenting our patterns to buyers. I hope that it's helpful as you begin to prepare for your own pattern presentations. When I began preparing for my presentation, I thought about how I like to talk through patterns and trends and realized that I like to think about the customer journey and the type of patterns that they will want to wear throughout the season. So I divided our collection of over 300 patterns into five stories that you see here in Adobe Bridge. I then scrolled through our Dropbox of patterns and clicked and dragged each pattern into its appropriate story. Now what's so wonderful about Bridge is that clicking and dragging didn't change the location of the files in our Dropbox. It just created these collections within Adobe Bridge. So let me walk you through this process with a small selection of patterns that I've pulled for this tutorial. To create a new collection, click on a new collection button in the bottom right hand corner of your collection window. You can then name the collection whatever you might like. and then click the back button to return to your original screen. Then you can begin clicking and dragging patterns into your new collection story folder. Choose the patterns that best fit the story that you'd like to tell. Again, I chose to tell my story through seasons and through the customer journey, but you might prefer to use more traditional pattern collections or trends to divide your overall portfolio. So begin clicking and dragging, of course, keeping your collections together or any patterns that you developed together as a pattern family, click and drag those into your collection folder. Once your collections are done, you can click on a collection to open it. Then you can review your collection as a whole. Ask yourself, what colors stand out? Do I need a larger variety of patterns? You can also then adjust the order of the patterns to best fit the color palettes that you're using or the story that you're telling. So in this example, I might want to use these brightly colored patterns at the end of my story and begin telling the story of starting the collection with these icy winter blues and slowly warming up into spring oranges and yellows and then ending with the bright reds of summer. Click through each pattern and imagine the story that you might tell and what you might tell your clients about the pattern or the collection as a whole. Then you can arrange your printouts or your fabrics in the same order and feel confident during your client presentation. So this has been my method for preparing for our upcoming trip to Portland, Oregon. But what presentation techniques or tips do you have? I look forward to reading them in the comments below.